don't all speak at once. What are you doing here? Been released. Oh, come on, Elizabeth. You don't think I could have got over the wall in a state like this, do you? What do you want? Well, let's see, a uh, hello would be nice. I'm gonna need the keys, lads. Yeah, yeah. Peter, mate. Back in a minute. Might be able to help you with those, Steve. You'd be amazed what you learn when you're in the big house. Oh, thanks. Well, this is the worst stag night ever. Stag night, eh? Well, that explains the daft T-shirts and the handcuffs. Who's the lucky wee girl this time? Tracy. Tracy. After what she put you through the last time, you're a braver man than me, son. What Mr. Arm Robber is going to lecture me on? Serious life decisions. And by your pint, son. You're unbelievable. I... When are you going to get it through that thick head of yours? That you are nobody to me. Nobody. How can you give that human garbage the time of day? Please, just let me explain. What's there to explain? You've completely betrayed David. I'm sorry that you feel that way. But I didn't have a choice. Well, so God made you do it. Of course you had a choice. No, this isn't just about me being a vicar. I'm responsible for Josh's attack. He's blind because of me. Oh, hallelujah. There is some justice after all. Yes. He's done some terrible things, but that doesn't mean he can't find redemption. Oh, break out the violins. He has ripped my uncle's life to pieces. And now that he's the one suffering, it's suddenly, please forgive me. Josh isn't asking for forgiveness. In fact, he's, he's not even ready to accept he's done anything wrong. And you want to save him? Would that be such a terrible thing? Every person has the ability to change. And it is my duty to help him realise that. Look, I promise I'm not here to cause trouble. Oh, save it. Come on, lads, how long does it take to find a flipping key? I could have chewed my arm off now. All right, everybody just take a deep breath. Well said, Elizabeth. No, I wasn't talking to you. Hey, disaster averted. Tim, let him out. What's he doing in here? Leave him, mate. He isn't worth it. No, I'm not going to leave it, mate. He tried to kill me. Look at him, mate. He can hardly walk. Yeah, he'll hardly be able to breathe when I'm free. Mate, just no, calm down! Oh, it's not okay. worth you okay. going back inside again. Why didn't you just stay away? Oh, Mum, save your breath. Look, I give you my word, I wouldn't be here unless it was important. Your word is worthless. I can't be doing with this, Liz. Either show him in the back room or get him out the door, one or the other. I promise you, I won't take up any more time than I have to. We're not interested. Please, I beg you. Just hear me out. I'll show him the door. Back room. Matt, will I give up? You're on your own. Stephen, no. Stephen! You're right. Why don't we go back to mine and sink a few ends? Nah, nah, it's what I pay on my own time. I know he didn't shot me, but it's still he's that night. Oof, look, the flipping wedding is the last thing on my mind. My dad is a curse, mate. Now he's back. <laughs> I bet Toya was mortified, wasn't she? It was funny. Oh, how was your dad about it? <laughs> yeah, he seemed pretty cool, but he apparently saw it some of Trace so close for her. Really? Did he? Well, step up for Toya, style-wise, that. So they seem to be building bridges. I guess so. Hmm. Maybe there's hope for them yet? What, getting back together? No chance. <laughs> Stranger things have happened, Si. Well, if you say so. You're off your head if you think someone like that can be saved with a few Hail Marys. I'm not condoning his actions. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, and trying to ease your guilt in the process. Look, I get your anger. No, Billy, you don't. You can't. Say it was Nathan lying in that hospital bed. I'd like to think I'd do the same thing. Even if you knew that it would hurt me. If it stopped him from hurting someone else, then it would be worth it. Imagine if somebody had been able to intervene with Nathan years ago and sent him down a better path. What then? Yeah. Except that didn't happen. My life still got destroyed just like David's. Look, I know that your heart is in the right place. But that doesn't change the fact that he has a right to know what you're doing. He wouldn't understand. Well, that's between you and him. Oh, that'll be Bethany. Well, I'll, I'll get it. Do you know that 
That smells lovely. Are you sure I can't give you a hand? 100%. I just want you to relax. Oh, are you sweet? Hi. Good evening. And goodbye. Oh, here we go. How dare you just show up like this? I invited them, Gail. You? Why, well, she means us. We did it for Max and Lily's sake. Did it to torment me, more like. No, look, the kids haven't the foggiest what happened with you and Lewis. All they know is that Audrey's the great-grandmother and they miss her big time. Yeah, you're always saying how family's really important. Look, could we not just call a truce, OK? Over my dead body. Either they leave or I do. Cue the ultimatums. Maybe that would be for the best. No, Lewis, just stay here. Gail, please, this nonsense has got to stop here. And now. Look, it's only tea. No strings attached. Seriously, you don't even have to talk to them if you don't want to. There's no reason to let it ruin your evening. That ship has well and truly sailed, I'm afraid. Enjoy your meal. And I'd count the cutlery after if I were you. There you go, folks. Thank you. Oh, I meant to ask. How's Rana? Uh, okay, I think. Yeah, seems her mum's got her on a pretty full schedule. I miss her. Well, I'm sure she misses you too. She seems nice. No, yeah, when it suits her. She messed Sophie around something rotten. Mmm. Evil ex, eh? Anyway, let's not talk about Sophie's love life, or should I say desperate lack of. No offence, so. None take her. So you were saying something about a favour? However, it is a touch delicate. Oh, sound spit it out! <laughs> <laughs> All right, in a nutshell, it appears that Kevin's got a bit of a soft spot for you. Mum? And I just wondered, well, if you wouldn't mind, if I could pass on your number to him. Mum, my dad is not ready to start dating. No problem. What? Do you mean that? Absolutely. <sighs> so how long have you been out? <sighs> a couple of weeks. You look terrible. <laughs> uh-huh. Honest as ever. You, on the other hand, look as beautiful as ever. Let me stop here right there, Jim. This... It isn't a social call. It isn't a catch-up. It isn't anything. Well, is it so wrong for a sick man to want to reconnect with his family? Oh, well, let's hope that's the only reason you're here. For your sake. Because if you do anything to hurt Steve again, I will make you wish that you had been left to rot in that prison. Do I make myself clear? Hmm. Crystal. Right. Well, now we've got the threats out of the way. I don't suppose I could trouble you for a wee something to drink. <sighs> All this groveling, you know. Builds up a brave thirst, so it does. Admittedly, Kevin is no David Gandhi, but... Well, given the proper encouragement, he has been known to scrub up half-decent. <laughs> You're unbelievable. You're acting like he's pimp. Well, pre-warned is pre-armed. Oh, I need to go. I need to go and do some shopping. You're coming. <laughs> oh, uh, could I borrow her for a little while longer? I thought I'd try and pick up some tidbits about Kevin. It's always best to be prepared. That is a brilliant idea. You could learn a lot from this woman. Mm. Oh, and, uh... Keep your eye on that cape for me, won't you? Because now that Rama's sailed off, I don't want to get in any big ideas about my baby. Mm -hmm. I will. Why are you so embarrassing? <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you. Another cocktail? Stuff your cocktail. What do you think you're doing? You cannot give my dad your phone number. I know what I'm doing. No, I don't think you do. Oh, I do. If I hadn't have agreed, your mum would have never let it lie. If we do this my way, I go out on a boring, platonic date with your dad, after which I can report back there was absolutely zero romantic connection and we're better off as friends. Your dad's free to explore passages new and your mum is off my back permanently. So I would say that's a win-win. Ah, oh, don't suppose it's sound stronger, eh? No, 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 no. Tail by grand. 
So, your man out there, then? Johnny. No, I just thought maybe you and him were... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, he could have been... He's out wrong. Oh. Jim, mm. just tell me what it is you want to know. Well, first of all, I'd like to know why your name isn't still above the door. And secondly, why in the name of God is Stephen marrying the Antichrist? Right. Well, you better brace yourself. Steve cheated on Michelle and got Leanne pregnant. What? <laughs> what will that wee lad ever learn? Oh, look who's flaming talking. <laughs> anyway, eventually, Michelle found out. Oh, she went ballistic and then took him to the cleaners. So, sayonara, Rovers. Hmm. Only silver lining, I suppose, is little Oliver. Oliver? My grand... Our grandson. Well, he's a bonny lad. <laughs> oh, he is, when it's not been a little terror. Hey, if I'm honest with you, it reminds me of Steve when he was a babe. <laughs> well, Lord help us, Mommy. <sighs> Last few years mustn't have been easy for you, Elizabeth. Oh, I've known worse. Hmm. We should never have let Gail leave. Oh, and deny her her dramatic exit, please. I didn't want to cause any trouble. Uh, Lewis, if Gail wants to throw her toys out the pram, that's her problem. I mean, the more we react, the more it encourages her. Dad, you never guess what? Mm. Alahan Chester United just lost 4 3. Yes! <laughs> I assume that's good news. Oh, it's epic. You know, I used to play football when I was younger. Pretty good standard, though, I say it myself. Ooh. I imagine you'd have been a bit of a tricky player to play against. A bit slippery. What? No, I, I'm, I'm fine. I sort of had that coming. Yeah. Of course, so you know, you know, if ever you do mess my family about again, then I will end you. You know, just being honest. <laughs> I expect nothing less. Hiya. Hi, my love. Who's this? Uh, this is uh, my friend Lewis, Bethany. Delighted to meet you. Lewis is in thieving scumbag, Lewis. Excuse me. Now you apologise right now. In your dreams. Uh, I think this might be our cue to leave, my dear. Oh, you think? I am so sick of men hurting me and my family. Right. Thank you so much for a very nice meal. Maybe see you around? Huh? Bye. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Ooh. Well, that couldn't have gone worse. I'm joking, are you? I think that one of the best teas I've had for a while, anyway. Right, come on, Max, let's make some football magic. Um, should I do your plate? Uh, no, thanks. I'm not really that hungry. It's always like page 10, second hand sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Long day? Very. Hi. Uh, best crack open a bottle of that Merlot then. Oh, no, not for me, just a cranberry and soda. What is my day off? Hmm, all right then, goody two shoes. I'll have the same, thanks. So, how was work? Fair to Midland. Ooh, and how's Peter? Ready to throttle him yet? Actually, you know what? Steve's stag aside, he's actually pulling his weight. And we are talking about the same Peter Barlow here, right? We've actually got a really good working relationship. I'd go as far to say it was pretty much perfect. Oh, my God. No, I know where this is going. No, no, you couldn't be wider off the mark. Is somebody on Peter's radar, but it's definitely not me. Who is it then? Toya. Toya? I thought that was dead and buried. Well, apparently not. Not to what Simon's been telling me. I think Peter just needs a little nudge in the right direction. Oh, please don't tell me you're gonna try and play a matchmaker. Oh, come on. Who knows more about affairs of the art than me? Kate, can you do me a favour and just check on the order for table five, please? No problem. All right, what are you playing at? Because last week you were telling me I still had feelings for Peter and what? Now you're playing Cupid, are you? I have my reasons. Well, I am all ears. OK, fine. Listen, the way I see it, if I could get Toya and Peter back together, it leaves less temptation for me. Mm. I think I'm gonna need that glass of wine after all. Me too. 
So there was nothing at all in the papers? I'm afraid not. Both myself and Brian are as surprised as you are. Well, something like an abduction should at least make the news. But obviously we will continue the search. And what if you can't find anything? Then we'll think of something else. It is highly unlikely that something so serious could have avoided any media exposure. Exactly. The answer's got to be out there. It is simply a matter of time and patience. Ty, I know this is a setback, but you've got to try and stay positive. Maybe there's no news about the abduction because, oh, well, it didn't happen. Um, I'm not sure I'm following your train of thought. But what if there were no crime? Well, if Jackie didn't snatch you. But my mum just abandoned me. You all right? Uh, yeah. Um, I was just wondering if you wanted to go for a drink and a chat after. Are you still fretting over Billy? Something like that. <laughs> you like? Yeah, just give us 20 minutes. Just need to play this game. OK. Can I give you a hand? Oh, no, you're all right. Look, I'm sorry if I went off on one earlier. <laughs> oh, forget it. We should have warned you. Go! 2-0 and the crowd go wild. <laughs> you know, I don't know who's having more fun. Between you and me, I've not seen him this chilled out in yonks. Yeah, it's great. And... I don't want to jinx it, and I know there's a hell of a long way to go, but, you know, in the last few days, I've seen such a change in David. Uh, you know what? I, I've actually got loads of stuff to do, so, um, I'm gonna head off. What? I thought you said you wanted that chat. Yeah, but, uh, I think you were right. I'm just worrying over nothing. A referee, you cheating little funny bunny. Halloween. You're right, love. You're at Steve Stag do. You can't have a stag do with that stag. Why? What happened? Oh, his dad decided to gate crash the party. I didn't know he wasn't in prison. No, neither did Steve and Liz. Anyway, after that, it all went a bit Pete song and it was good night, Vienna. Well, I'm not surprised, honestly. That Jim MacDonald is like a bad penny. Oh, no, I still kind of felt sorry for the guy, though. Talk about a broken man. Yeah, well, you weep what you say. Yeah, I suppose. Well, these are my favourite. Oh, 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 oh. What? Oh, never mind. Hey, I pulled off a bit of a coup today. Why don't I like the sound of this? I only convinced Paula to go on a date with Kevin. Well, in other words, you stuck your beak in. I prefer the term fanning the flames. Well, by lining up a booty call for your ex, will be. Well, after everything he's been through with Jack, he could do with a pick-me-up. Plus, it'll keep Gina at arm's length. Well, I'm telling you now, I'm staying well out of it. Personally, I think you should put a bit more energy into your own love life and make a few booty calls of your own. I do not make booty calls. But I might be willing to learn. Oh, hello. Can <laughs> mm. <laughs> I get you anything? Uh, no, thanks. I'm not staying. So what, you need to warn me that Davey's on the warpath? Actually, I didn't tell him. I couldn't. Thank you. I didn't do it for you. David is in a really good place at the moment, and I'd like him to stay there. I understand. No, you don't understand, otherwise we wouldn't even be having this conversation. My uncle doesn't find it easy to trust, OK? But he trusts you, and that's a really big deal for him. It means a lot. And he trusted the man who raped him. I swear, the last thing I want to do is cause David any further pain. We'll stay away from Josh. I mean it. Well, thanks for the tea and the wee chat. I just hope oh, we understand each other. Yeah, of course we do. And like I say, I'm sorry I banjacked Stephen's evening. <laughs> it's not as if he doesn't have enough reason to hate me already. He's not the only one. Hey, I don't want any more aggro tonight. No, it's OK, it's OK. <sighs> Peter, I am sorry for what I did. Not interested, Jim, it's too late. Just hear me out. Well, in prison, I sunk to a low I didn't think was possible. You showed up, and I saw an opportunity. You thought you'd take advantage. Hang me out to try. I just wanted to see my family again. What's that? That's not an excuse. No. Nothing can excuse what I did. Nothing. So if you want to hit me a dig in the bake, 
You feel free. Go ahead. I deserve it, and then some. You're not worth it. I'll tell you what. If you've got any sense, you won't show your face round here again. Bank on it. Right. Well, I better make myself scarce. I will try and persuade Steve to have a chat with you. No promises, though. No, of course. Sooner the better, though. I mean, tomorrow would be good. I'll do my best. Oh, it's just as really important, Elizabeth. I said I'll do my best. Don't mm. push it. Fair enough, fair enough. Right, all the way on. It's good to meet you. Black guys. Aye. Can't rush something like this. All in good time. There's trouble on the horizon that could threaten Becky's scheming plans when brand new drama Vanity Fair continues Sunday night at nine. But on the way next here on ITV, we're off to the seaside surgery. Stay with us this Friday night for Doc Martin. <laughs>